Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create a really fast slideshow in Adobe Premiere Pro. So once we get this thing set up, you can knock a slideshow out in 20 or 30 seconds. It's not going to be your best slideshow in the world, but it's going to be enough for that corporate event or that family gathering. And there's some customizability to it that we can have some fun with. So let's get started. First things first is I went ahead and grabbed some images. I got them off of Envato Elements, a great subscription-based service where you pay a monthly fee and you get a near unlimited amount of stock footage, photos, templates. Check out the link in the description below so what we're going to do though once we have our images collected is before we even import them we need to go up to edit down to preferences and then over to timeline right here the reason we need to do this is this setting right here the still image default duration that is going to be how long these are when we actually drag them into the sequence in this particular case i went with three seconds the problem is and why we got to do this before you import is because if even if i change it to six seconds or 20 seconds right now when i drag any of these images that have already been imported over they're going to have the three second duration attached to them so we want to make sure that we change this beforehand Two to three seconds is good if it's in the background or something that people are lightly watching. If you're watching it like the entire crowd is watching at the same time, you might want to go five or six seconds so people can actually enjoy the images. Also, depending on how many images you have, you don't want to make it you know, two hours long either. So this is an important setting. The default transition duration is how long these little transitions are going to take. In this case, 30 frames with a 30 frames per second means it's going to take about one second per transition that works you can also change this to seconds if that helps you uh, figure out your math a little bit better so once we have these things set we're going to click ok and then we're going to actually import all of our footage i have already imported it and we are now ready to go so we probably want to create ourselves a new sequence the reason being is that all of these images a lot of times they're gigantic so we don't want to create like an 8k um, sequence in this case see how there's like 4,000 and 3,000 none of these are standard size this is a giant one at 7,000 so we just want to go up to sequence or file new and then sequence and wherever it's going if you're going on a 4k screen then you know a lot of these would fit 4k as well I'm just gonna go with 1080p 30 you can you know change the settings over here as well if you'd like we're gonna click OK and now we have a sequence set up that will collect all of these so with these images I'm going to click on the bottom one and hold the shift key all the way up to the top and then just drag them over. What that's going to do is it's going to actually put them in the timeline starting here and then this will be the next one. This will be the next one. If you want a little more control, you can click on this. And th that was actually kind of a pun because now you're going to hold the control key and whichever ones you select, that's the order they're going to show up in. So it's going to start with side view of young woman and then this night city one and then this night city one and then that night city one. And when I drag them over, they're going to be in that order. You can see it started there. And we have, if we move forward, all of the other ones we selected in their order. So if you would like to choose the, the basically the sequence of them, that's how you do it. I though, I'm just going to hold that shift key from the bottom to the top, select all of them and drag them all out. Now, if I click on drag this in, we can go in a little bit and you can see that it's imported them. And at three seconds, they change over between. We have two things we got to fix. We have black bars and there are no transitions. So to fix the no transitions, we're going to go to the effects. We're going to then just delete out of any search and then go down to the video transitions. For the really quick one, go to your cross dissolve, right click on it highlight everything you can hit control a or highlight it by click and dragging and then we're just going to hit control d the other way to do this is going to be to go to sequence and then apply video transition control d right there and now we have a nice transition on every single one of them we can choose any of these to do that with if you would for example wanted to go with the uh this one will be obvious so i'll do this one dip to white we hit control d replaces them all with this dip to white as you can see right there last thing we want to uh, to change and make sure that we have right is that these black bars so if we go over into effects and we search for just auto we're going to look for the auto reframe make sure you have everything selected again drag it out you'll see the blue boxes on everything and it adds the effect to every single one of these let's make this a little less jarring by going back to our video transitions dissolve and cross dissolve set control d and now you're going to see everything is beautifully focused inside of the frame and we're nicely transitioning between them. If we want to have a little bit of fun, we can change things around. So we can, let's say we want these three right here to be something different. So let's go with the morph cut. And then if I highlight these and click that control D again, you're going to see, see how these say the CR because it's cross dissolve. And this one is the M because it's morph cut. Now we can actually change the transition around depending on what we want to do. Now morph cut 
apparently is something that's a little bit more advanced because you can see that it's actually trying to analyze in the background. So let's just go with something that's not as extreme like dip to white here and then control, well, control D on that. And now you can see that we've changed the transitioning from these and then it's back to cross dissolve. So you have that ability throughout this. So this is how you create a really, really simple um, uh, slideshow. And like I said, I told you, you can do it in 20 seconds. So let me just show you what I mean by that. We've imported all of our footage, click on the bottom one, go to the very top, highlight, click and drag, hit control A, control D, you now have a slideshow. And then of course, if you go to your effects and then go to auto, control A over here, click, drag. And now we have a perfect slideshow throughout that we can then export and be ready to go. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and thumb in the comment section below or on our website, adobemasters.net. If you like similar videos, similar to this one, go ahead and subscribe button and make videos on all the Adobe products. And until next time, guys, see ya.